Hi, I'm Kevin with Genesis Rescue Systems, and we're here with our friends from Chicago's Bravest Stories podcast to present a 12-part video training series on real-world practical applications for passenger vehicle extrication. Engine 1, engine 4, truck 2, truck 10, ambulance 82, battalion 2, fire 1020 North Main, help is on the way. Oh, hey, Corey. Hey. Can oh, you just man. step on sign of refusal of services, please? <laughs> Thanks, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> In the next video, we're gonna cover roof tenting. That is the use of the telescopic ram to take the roof and push it up off the patient's head rather than the entire practice of removing the roof from the patient. Particularly if there's only one patient in the vehicle, it is extremely time consuming to remove the entire roof when we can just push it up off of their head for working space. We've removed the victim here just for the sake of showing you the steps and procedures that would be most applicable for tenting the roof versus doing a full roof removal. If a vehicle has rolled several times and it has major roof deflection down on the patient's head, ordinarily we would come in and cut our A post, B post, C post, C post, B post, A post. And it's time consuming. And there's not a lot of validity to that operation if I only have one person trapped in the vehicle where I need to make space above their head. So the roof tent operation involves me making one cut on the A post, again, squaring up perpendicular to the cut, parallel to the ground, and potentially having to make just a squeeze with my cutter right in front of the B post so I can get a fulcrum point for the push of the roof with our telescopic ram. That operation start to finish took about 45 seconds where it would take several minutes to cut an entire roof to do a total roof removal on a vehicle. This episode of Back to Basics Training Tips has been brought to you by Genesis Rescue Systems and Chicago's Bravest Stories Podcast. Thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.